So I don't go shooting with your IP Cause you think you're trying to save me Then I'm left to do with me Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're back with another video. I'm going to react to Love & Hip Hop Miami Season 2 trailer. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Miami characters or what are they called? Cast members. I'm not really a fan of nobody. I really can't even remember the people right now. So we'll see at the end of this video if I'm even going to tune in to watch the season of this Miami whatever. Hopefully they added some new people or something different because I'm tired of seeing the same storylines, you know? So let's get into it. Welcome back to the 305. The heat always rises to the top. The hardest city in the game is Okay, back. they got new people. I love pause i love miami bike life oh my god i have not been vlogging for you guys but i recently went to miami for my birthday and my little brother i'm gonna put his channel right here because he's like a, a popular person with this bike life stuff and he had us out there with the miami bike life living it up i was on the back of a four-wheeler you guys riding through miami i was lit i had so much fun bike life i'm so into so subscribe to my little brother's channel if you haven't already but yeah Trina, I need a, I need an album ASAP, sis. Oh. Okay, the only reason I did tune into um, Love & Hip Hop Miami the first time was for Trina. And Trina turning the fuck up. Because Trina really got a, she a sage. I love all my fellow sages. We just lit as people. Like, it's... As a unit, every sage that I have ever, ever came across is just a lit, dope-ass person. Like, I just love a whole sage aura. You will fall in love with a sage, like, quickly, okay? But I love that Trina is just turning the fuck up because her personality is lit. She got a, like, real decent personality, so. And you couldn't see that the first season of Love, um, Miami. You couldn't tell, like, Trina personality for real, for real. But I'm glad she just being herself now. And this one needs to just give up the afro. Like, especially the fact that it's not a real afro, yo. Please, just hang it up. Because she looks so much, not even like she looks so much prettier because she's she's a pretty girl. And she looked pretty no matter what. But if that's not your real afro, she made it seem like she didn't want that to be her, like, thing. But, sis, that is your thing. You're really known for, like, the salsa girl with the afro now. Your fame has opened so many doors for me. But she be getting it popping on the stage though. Be okay. and it's not What's wrong okay. with your mind? Amada is an evil person. Is Amada. I can't find out. Oh. A couple people need to have a talk with Amada. She What's even seen a damn DM from Amada. <laughs> Nobody know how to say this girl name. Like everybody say it in different ways. You was sending him emojis. You was telling him like to see him. She's such a thigh. They said they tried to. She was about to get aired out on a reunion last year. Like. I don't know what this is up to, but she might be an undercover thought. He tells me, he's like, yo, Amara asked me some uncomfortable questions. How long have you and Jesse been together? Have you ever cheated on Jesse? What was the next thing? Jesse. Was gonna be, well, can I sit on your next? Whoever brings you problems, you're a crap. She don't need to be clapping because I don't think she's about that life for real, for real. But who's this in the choir? How is it being back in my Okay, I chocolate. Put my foot back into the music. I love me a brown skin girl. Oh my god. What? Pursuing it here. It just was always hard. What is going on, Jesse? I just remember like she? going into that room. <laughs> they took something from me. I don't want nobody taking anything from me no more. Oh, she got raped you got or something. Oh, that is really crazy. What people don't realize uh -oh, is okay, that pleasure. Ricky broke up, my family broke up. Dead ass. 
Me and my boyfriend was just on the phone talking about B2K. We did as we bonded over music. So I literally just went through B2K, um, Chingy, Yin Yang Twins. Like three, four days ago, I just was going through this joint. And we both were just like, yo, they need to go on tour. Like for real, for real. The next fucking day, Omarion Poo's that Pretty Ricky, Chingy, Yin Yang Twins, B2K. They all going on fucking tour. B5, like, it's about to be fucking lit. Like, all my 90s, baby, we about to be in there getting shit popping, okay? Your manager, we ain't really getting along like that. Okay, right, spectacular so look good. The the Why the fuck is Ray J and Lil Fizz over here? What do they got to do with Miami? It, like, they always, like, crossing franchises. I'm willing to come back and help y'all out. You stole every dollar we had. Oh. you thought you should have got? Something. Oh. Oh, yo, 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 baby boy, yo, baby boy is all baby boy. His name is baby blue. <laughs> baby blue, yo, always running his fucking mouth. Always the littlest one, but always got all the fucking mouth. If that's his fuck, are they fucking siblings? Because don't be telling me to talk to my dad any the, whichever way. I'm gonna talk to him the way that I need. I think he should be handled. Okay, mind your motherfucking business. Baby Blue. Corny is his name. Okay. Oh, they said, come outside. Come outside, nigga. People call me gay. People swarm in a relationship with him. No, not You get. <gasps> he gay. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> no shade. No shade. No. I don't want to. Because YouTube and this internet shit. Like, if I say anything about this whole situation, do not comment some bullshit underneath this fucking video. Because... I love my, my, uh, I, I don't know the letters because it's too much going on. But, boy who cheated on his girl last season, I don't remember these people's names, but that boy that who, who just was talking, yo, that stance that he just did, watching that car, told me a lot. I don't know about y'all, but it told me a whole hell of a lot. And I think last reunion, I kind of figured, like, he might be on the, like, you know, but I'm going to mind my business. And why the fuck do he got braids? And it looked like he tried to do music. Was he trying? I thought he was a promoter. I'm done. Sis took him back? Wait, I, can't even, I can't even keep playing the fucking video because why did she take him back? I can't stand when girls make this big ass scene. If you're not gonna leave your man, keep that shit to your motherfucking self. Private life, happy life. Happy life, private life, however that saying go. Keep all that shit to yourself. Never run to Instagram or the internet to say anything about your significant other if you just gonna run back to him. That's dumb. Grow up. <laughs> this nigga with these braids, though. Like yeah. Well, oh, that means they fucking. I think this is all off emotions. What's going on? I work so hard to be at the point that I am, but I can't go to the same. Okay, this girl, I don't remember her name or whatever, but I recently came across her Instagram and I was like, oh, I forgot that they had a love and hip hop Miami. Like, I forgot all about every person that was on there for real, for real. She tries very hard. Very hard. And then, like, if something happened with her. I think it was on the shade room. Her and Monica had posted her. And then somebody had said, like, Monica, I can't believe you're supporting her. And Monica don't know, like, like what the joint of music about. I think she posted her about music. But her music is the reason people don't like her. Because she looks white to me. She might be Puerto Rican, but I don't like... I'm offended when other races say the N-word. Like... I think it's disrespectful because I'm not going around calling y'all all the shit that's like y'all got history behind like that y'all don't feel good about or whatever like that. I don't like that shit. So she will never, this chick right here will never get my support because like it's disrespectful. I don't give a fuck where you think you was, you was raised at, who the fuck you know. It don't matter about none of that shit. Respect is respect. And she definitely crossed my line of respect so fuck shorty. <laughs> Uh, she talk about it. I don't 
think she racist. I don't think a lot of people that say the N-word is racist. But I feel like since y'all so comfortable with saying the N-word, when you do get mad, then you're going to be like, nigga this, nigga that. You a nigga this. Like, I don't like that shit. Just like when black guys be messing with like different races and shit, and they let their girls say and call them all types of N-words and shit like that. That shit is not the fuck cute. Put that bitch in her fucking... I'm sorry to be cursing all crazy, y'all, but when I talk about this type of situation, I get real deep into it because I do not like it at all. Like, I really... When somebody say it in front of me, I'm straight like, excuse me, watch your mouth. Like, I, and I don't like when guys is letting the, the other race friends say it around them. I don't think... That shit... Nothing is cute. Nothing is funny about this shit at all. Pure blank period. She should have never said it. She's not gonna be number one. I want to work so hard for us to live a different life. I feel like that's the least thing that I can do, and that's like she might want to open up boutique. Like it doesn't let me live in peace. Like they look real white. Our family looks very white. I'm always gonna be your mother. It's okay to be yourself. I want to die, bro. Why is everybody crying? I don't want to see that crying shit either, Pop. I despise you. Oh. Oh, oh. This bitch back again. Hang it up. She got a new wig, y'all. Yeah, she wanna fucking thank you. The fuck? You a grown ass man. We don't have to be there for y'all niggas. <gasps> oh. Oh. It ain't hit her though. It's about to get hot up in here. We got that fuego, baby. Fuego. Fuego. Stupid. <laughs> okay, guys. So, most likely, I will be tuning into this season just because it looked more, way more interesting than last season. And I feel like they actually talking about topics that, like, is real topics, not just, like, a storyline type, type of topics or whatever. So, yeah, it, it do look kind of interesting. So, I will be tuning in. Um, if you have any more suggestions of videos I should react to or anything like that, drop them down in the comment section below. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for being for just still being interested because I'm so inconsistent it doesn't make any sense and every time I promise to be consistent it doesn't work out but I will have vlogs and more videos for you in the next couple weeks so see you soon you guys Bye.